welcome. Welcome. I want to jump back into the Xana stuff. I really want to do a reading first, though, on the O'Keefe's. John O'Keefe is the Boston police officer that was killed in another Boston police officer's lawn. And his girlfriend is on trial for murder. And the parents seem to be... We've had 22 days. Okay, I'll, I'll go quick. We've had 22 days of trial, which is a complete joke. And the mom seems to really think... It's almost like the mom drank the Kool-Aid. Like, all of the facts, if you follow the facts, are saying that it wasn't a... She didn't hit him at all. He was in a fight. And the mom seems to really believe the Kool-Aid, the Canton Kool-Aid. So I want to do a quick reading on that, and then we're going to do a Xana, finish the Xana thing. But I just really want to know what's going on with the O'Keefe's. Like, I feel like it's really hard. I don't really have anything nice to say. That's why I've stopped. So let's do a quick reading on the O'Keefe's, see what's going on with them. The mom, there's justice. The mom seems to be laughing every time this, I mean, look at the Boston Herald today. Boston Herald did not play. It's, a, it's like disgusting what the State Patrol, and I'm saying this with love and kindness of the Massachusetts State Patrol, the way they're being portrayed in this trial is just disgusting. And the mom, every single time that there's some horrific thing said against Karen Reed, seems to like laugh. It's really weird. So I just want to tap into the mom, or the I think the parents, I think what we might have here, we've been through this before, is another case of the dad has moved since today started to the back of the courtroom. He walked out during some of it. And the mom is just sitting there with this grin on her face. That's, I feel like, is appalling. I feel, just as a human. I, I like facts and evidence. Makes everything a lot easier. The facts and evidence are very clear. But the things that he was saying about Karen Reed are disgusting. And she's like laughing. It's really weird. If you're not watching it, it makes me feel dirty. It's disgusting. So I think what we need to do is break them into two. I don't want to read them as a unit because I think what we're going to find here, just based on my observation of them, is we have something very similar to Ethan's parents. So let's do her first. Because, like, what's, I don't even know her name. I'll call her Mrs. O'Keefe. What's Mrs. O'Keefe's story? Why does she think that this is funny? This is like third graders on a playground who were never taught that, like, you don't talk to people like this. It's really absurd. So, and she's laughing, which is making me feel uncomfortable. I'm really glad I'm not there. And it's weird. So let's do her first. I think we might find the juice with her. I'll call her Mrs. O'Keefe. I have no idea what her name is. I could, I wanted to care. I mean, but I just don't like the way she's behaving. It's weird. She's, and you know, I get the nervous laughter. That's not what I'm saying. She's like straight up laughing at the most, the meanest insults. And they're not like, they're just disgusting. So let's see what's going on with her. <laughs> well, we got Justice. Justice jumped before I clarified it. And... We have a partnership. We also have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups. Um, welcome. If you're new, welcome. If you're in the balcony, I don't read. the This deck doesn't like to be read in reverse, so if you see me flip it, that's why. I also don't have, like, a set number that I always pull, so you'll see them. Um, it just varies. Justice is actually our underlying energy. 
Um, all right, let's get more. Okay, well, death's here. Hmm. All right, we asked for the mom first. So, I don't know what this mom, if she thinks that she's carrying the weight of the world. I made it really, I said her mom, the mom. She's fighting, but she's also trying to offer, he, it's like a extending an olive branch. This is a commitment. This could be a marriage. Death in this is going to be pretty literal because her son died. We have the Knight of Cups. Oh, I should tap into John. I wonder... This is tapping into John. Oh, this is telling the John, um, John O'Keefe. This is telling his story. He's the little fool who, oh, Ethan, oh boy. Oh my, okay. Well, we asked for the mom and we got John. Hey John, welcome to the table. Oh good, all right, I feel better. And we invited Ethan in too. I've already called in the quarters and asked for protection. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense if we're looking at it from John's point of view, <laughs> not the mom. So we have justice. This is the underlying energy. Then we got a companion. This can be a marriage. This is a wedding. We also had a happy home. Oh, oh, this is sad. He's sad that he had to leave too soon. Okay. Um, so we know there was a fight. This is in, this is an action card. They're already going. There's a lot of, there's not really a lot of rumors going around. You guys, I think it was someone here told me to look at truth and transparency. Love her. Absolutely love her. I love her style. She broke down the whole case in a spreadsheet. <laughs> Bestie. Um, in her spreadsheet, she has this fight. Okay, he died. We're going to take it literal because we're, I'm now channeling John. So this is death. This was the night. I wonder when his birthday, Knight of Cups is an emotional night. It's also like, I wonder when his birthday is. Oh, I think he really liked Miss Karen Reed. This is a threesome. Maybe his mom was trying to get in the middle of them. And so this is when we knew we were tapping in. Oh, sorry. First we have our little fool. He ran into the house, literally ran into the house and had no idea he was walking into danger, literally. Like, I can, in, in her defense, Karen reads, I can understand being annoyed if you've been out drinking and your boyfriend or husband or whatever goes in, or girlfriend, goes into a house just to check the, the vibe, make sure that they're invited, you know. I mean, these people are like way older than I am, <laughs> but who cares? And um, he just never came back. So she was mad. I would be too. It's the middle of winter in a snowstorm and you're just waiting in the car long enough for him to run and get the vibe and come back. So she had a few not flattering voicemails and texts. Got it. I get it. I get it. I've been married. I get the whole thing. But I think he really liked her. So then we have our dead little boy. We know what this means. We don't play with this dead little boy. This is John. And then we have the Hierophant. The feds are doing an investigation. I cannot wait till we hear the feds are doing an investigation into the investigation in Idaho. So this is definitely John. So, well, this is fun. What a pleasant surprise. I had no idea we were going. A couple good surprises lately. Um, we asked about the mom and John came through. Oh, he must want to talk. And so let's see what else he has to say. I'm going to use Miss Ashley's cards again, but first, I just want to see what else John has to tell us. Okay. If, again, if you're up in the bleachers and you see me flip them, it's because I don't, these cards just don't, this one deck doesn't like to be read in reverse. The rest of them are fine. 
I think he wanted to have like a happy home with Karen. I think that he, I think the mom was getting in the way. He might have actually wanted to marry her too. This is a marriage card. He, I think he really liked her. And I don't care what Jen McCabe is saying. I think he liked her. I think the mom got her dirty hands in the middle of it. There was a contract. This is this. I think this is silence. Silence. Swords are throat, ear, you know, nose, throat, mouth. So this is a new beginning. This is a don't tell what you know. Oh, BJ Queen. Mm. This is intuition. Someone, oh, thief. Someone stole lives and happiness. He was overpowered, just like Ethan. Um, we have our little boy getting stalked, which, according to the testimony, is pretty true. Wow. I'm so glad he came. This is way cooler than the mom. Yep, people are staying up at night stressed out. I don't think he wanted to die either. He wasn't ready. He had plans for his future that he was looking forward to. He wanted, I don't care what anyone, especially in Campton, says. Because, of course, they're going to paint her in a dark light. They're like the school bullies that never, like, left school. It's really gross. People are seeing between the lines. What's this kid's name? Proctor. <laughs> he doesn't like chicks, and he doesn't like anyone. He's just, just look at the Boston Herald. Yeah, they're stressed. They're stressed. The feds are involved, and they subpoenaed whatever the feds have to do. They probably just go grab all of his phone records. So right now he's on the stand, not at this exact minute, but um, explaining himself in front of the entire world, and it would be mortifying. We also have this broken heart. I feel like this is John. He was not ready to die. He was also the, the, one of his brothers or sisters, one of his siblings died in a car accident, and he was the dad of two children. Like, he adopted them or took care of them. And so those poor kids. But I should have checked his birthday. The nine of pentacles. Pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Mm, you don't say. Wow. I'm psyched. This is a cool thing to hear, or to see John here. Yeah, that's, this is sad for him. He did not want to die. He liked his life. He's excited that it's getting justice. I keep getting these pentacles. I don't know what they're for. Something about life insurance. But it's his mother. Yeah, it is his mom. His mom got his life insurance. I just don't like her reactions. I feel like it's very disgusting. Well, with John here, what do we want to know? It's a lot of sadness. He wasn't ready to go. He had plans, his plan. I think he wanted to marry Karen or marry someone. I'm going to say Karen. He was like very, ha he was happy. He had a 10 of cups. This in the Idaho case means fake happy home, but I'm not getting anything fake about this. He just wasn't ready to go, and he's really happy that he's, they're getting justice, but he's, poor guy. All right, now that we know it's him, let's, let's clear this and ask him specific questions. I think this is all my opinion that can be just backed up by fact with truth and transparencies spreadsheet. So Colin will end, um, what's her name? Uh, Karen Reed said it in the police station. Like I have a busted taillight and John's pulverized and, or he got in a fight with the Alberts, Colin and Brian Albert trained MMA fighters or something. I don't know. He was on like TV. 
training. And so what do we want to know? And we can use Ashley's cards. Yeah, this is this literally just jumped out. This is him. He want I think well, he wasn't ready to die. He I think that he liked Karen. I know they're oh, what's her name? Jen McCabe. <laughs> She's not very nice. She was like saying all these really mean things, but what else do you want us to know, John? Yeah, the good guys. The government's here. That was cool. I feel like he's already gone. When I channel, they sometimes stay a while and they sometimes don't. I'm not I can't really feel them anymore. But what I can feel, we can do a couple of Ashley's cards to see. So we have the white hats running in. We're going to do some whispers of the unsolved true crime oracle deck. Um, let's see what Ashley's card. Oh, that felt weird. <laughs> that just felt weird too, but... Oh, he's sad. He is sad. All right. We're on the right track. I know. I felt that he's just really sad because he, he didn't get to, like, finish. He has, like, a lot of regrets that he wishes he could do over. He was too, um, what's that word? Uh, cheap. Like, he felt he was too, uh, I, the word I'm, I'm looking for is cheap, I guess. He was too, he was, too worried about the future that he didn't get to live in the present. And the card that jumped was sad and emotional. Poor guy. Oh, there's a timeline issue. We know that. And it's male. We know that. Oh, and the gaslighting. I'm just, oh, I'm just watching it. Can you imagine if you lived in this little town and you go to the bar one night your boyfriend dies, and all the women that you thought were your friends turned on you and lied about you and pinned his death on you. She's been through a lot. This is the gaslighting. I'm just watching it, and it's straight up gaslighting. Good thing the dream team, uh, Alan Jackson, I wish they would pick up cases for people like BK. He needs them. He... They really work with integrity, thank God, and uh, political warfare. That's because the illusion is um, tr crumb trum wait, crumbling. So everything as you knew it is crumbling. Like the government's not what you expect. <laughs> Just kidding, government. Love you. Propaganda, fake news. Oh, Ashley's cards are right on. Yeah, we know that. Red flag. Yep, we know that. And regret. Mm, that's our buddy. Oh, this is a good card. Oh my gosh, look at this. These cards are awesome. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to move these. This is just the white light. I mean, I'm sorry, the white hats coming in and saving the day. Look at Ashley's card, Karmic Justice. Oh yeah, that's a law. It's a universal law. Law enforcement. Yep, they're all cops. Out in the open? Yep. I mean, oh, legal. man, legal proceedings? Yep. What's her name? Auntie Bev. I heard there are people, this is what I heard from watching some YouTuber. There are people waiting outside the courtroom with um, blonde wigs. Auntie Bev might be in on the dark side. I don't know. I'm not going to say that her hand, I don't know what her hands are, but she... I don't know what happened to the prosecution team down in Boston, but, and we have lies. And Ashley's cards are killing it. Life insurance, that's what we just got. I think it's his mom. On oh, love. Mm. It was putting me in a low vibration. Man, mind control. 
Well, you know what this has also shown me? So, Mr. John's here. We're killing it. He, um, it also showed me, like, if Karen Reed didn't have the money, and I don't know if she comes for money, I'm guessing her dad is very well off, or he had made good financial decisions. If she didn't come for money and then get the team that she has, she would have spent the rest of her life in prison and no one would have thought twice. What it's showing me, which I already knew, is like you buy justice. You don't really get justice. The fact that she got to trial was, I feel like, because she could afford to have legal counsel that can do it all. Like do what do what a defense attorney does. They're a, they're phenomenal. So John's just showing us that it's exactly like what's going on. And he's sad. He didn't he wasn't ready to go yet. And he doesn't like all the lies and the manipulation. And like the fact that the especially Boston Boston is like I mean, you know, you can hear their accents. I think it's pretty funny. Boston is so ride or die. Like, it reminds me kind of of New York when September 11th happened. Everyone rallied around New York. The fact that they haven't really given this, the fact a police officer died, I don't think he really got the justice he deserved. But he's just more sad about his life. He just wasn't ready to go. And he had some regrets. That's a bummer. Well, we all right. Well, thanks for coming. We tried. We asked about the mama, and John came through. So that was cool. That was really cool. I almost feel like we're not really done with him yet, but I don't know what else to ask him. Are you back? We could read a angel card for him. See what he wants to tell anyone who's paying attention, like his if his mom or is watching. We might have to edit that. Um, let's see what the mom wants, or what John wants to say. And if you guys, if anyone's following that case, and everyone donated a dollar, then we could pay for a legal system, which is like so sad. It's a really sad spot to be in. Let's see what John wants to say from the, the angel team. Yellow. Yellow is flexibility, adaptability, and personal power. This is for Karen, I think. He's telling her. Mm, that's, I wish I could find. I did a reading on them back when this was happening, and I didn't post it, and I think it got erased when I got a new computer because I, I don't see it anywhere. But it was a really cool reading. They really did like each other. All right, Yellow. U-R-S-T-U-V-W-X-Y. Yellow. Flexibility, adaptability, and personal power. This card asks if you are being flexible in a particular situation. It is time to stand in your power and be adaptable to change. Yellow represents the third solar plex chakra. This color pertains to bound boundaries, so be sure to define yours. It is time to be as assertive it is time to be assertive. Allow yourself to be an individual within a group. Stand up for what you believe. Yeah, this is for Karen. That's cool. Identify what is important to you with regard to principles and ethics. Discernment needs to come into play at this time. This card could be revealing an imbalance in your third chakra. Feeling highly competitive with someone else is a sign of imbalance. You may also feel defensive or insecure or have conflicts with others. Archangels Uriel, Metatron, and Raziel are associated with the symbol. A shift is about to occur in a job or a relationship. It is time to empower yourself or another. You are overthinking the situation. Hmm, I like that. That's cool. Well, that's good. I'm glad to see that. I wish I could find that other reading. It was a cool reading. All right, well, I will love you and leave you. We are going to jump into another case that we're working on. And, oh, in the meantime, don't forget, you can buy the course if you um, go to, there's a link in bio. You can get the course, True Crime Tarot, and the only tarot course you'll ever need. And I'm doing personal readings right now for 2222 as a celebration for getting those courses done. So thank you all for coming. I love you, and I'll see you next time.